Hey, everybody, it's Victor. It's time for another run here the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Sunday. Merry Christmas Eve, everybody. I hope your holiday weekends have continued to be awesome. We did have another video across 3,000 likes now as we're sitting at only 27 away. I say that kind of jokingly, but from the next like streak goal, which you guys and gals don't even know about yet, I will be announcing it on Wednesday to go just align with one week after the last like streak goal. Thank you very much, everybody. Again, I hope your Christmas Eves are just going awesome. And if you're watching this on Christmas, then, well, Merry Christmas. I hope it's a great, great, fantastic holiday for you. Here's your artwork slash meme of the day brought to you by positive number 3586. Title of the thread was simply just episode 901. Are you winning, Dad? I think so. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Alex did a great job on that one. I told him exactly what I wanted, and he delivered. A lot of people really enjoyed the thumbnail for that. Just, I mean, I'm glad the thumbnail was good because the, the run was not. Today is going to be Romeo, Mike, Zulu, Sierra, Yankee, 8, Romeo, 8. We've got Speedball, The Book of Sin, and, uh, okay, I'm going to hear a point card to start with. Great tears rate, great shot speed. Our damage is, eh, I mean, it's, it's, almost, it's almost three, so it's not, like, the worst thing of all time, but... Uh, obviously, the big the big deal here is that we're starting with Speedball, which is going to give us a movement speed upgrade and shot speed, and also, of course, contribute one to three for the Spun Transformation. Um, also, having the Book of Sin is going to be nice for early game pickups, early game consumables. Uh, as you just saw, it just it literally just gave us two Soul Hearts, so I'm like down with that. I mean, we haven't used it yet, obviously, but I'm going to. And we're also starting with three HP, which is all fine by me. <coughs> so, <coughs> been a little under the weather. At least feeling a little bit under the weather lately, um, the last couple of days here, and uh, it's. It, I think it's like everyone I know has either said that they've got something going around, or it's like they've like got a family member or a kid that's like just going through stuff right now. It just seems that seems to be that time of the season. So I don't think I'm sick. I'm just like I mean like I'm kind of run down. I knew that was gonna hit as soon as I saw it. You would you would not get me to use this this hero font card game. I will not use this before the end of this floor. Although, if you could just simply die, though, that'd be cool. Thanks. We'll grab this, <laughs> this soul heart here. We, we spent way too long there trying to kill that Ministro. Um, obviously, a bomb would allow us to get something in that curse room. Uh, we don't know what it, what it would be yet. Uh, ooh. Now, Mom's Key. Hang on a second. Mom's Key. Now, we're, you're speaking my language. Um... We could somehow finagle that. That would be great. Although we would have to probably get enough money to buy a bomb or get one from the Book of Sin. Uh, and then use it on the donation machine. Definitely to the point now <coughs> where I'm not really concerned about the donation machine um, amount anymore. This is going to be tough here. Also, not going after that tinted rock. I am going to go bomb the donation machine. 13 cents is kind of a... Uh, I don't know. The secret room I know is here. I guess I don't know technically for sure, for sure. I'm pretty sure it's there, but I, we, we got to go for Mom's Key here. And we got nothing. All right, so now what we do is we go get the Tinted Rock. Super Secret Room is north of this room, by the way, but I'm just going to take the Tinted Rock. Maybe we'll get a bomb and a key. We'll get Small Rock. I am going to take Small Rock because our movement speed was good enough uh, to start with. It is going to drop it back down to one, down below 1 1.0, but that's honestly fine. With the damage upgrade that Small Rock gives us here, this is one of the few times where I'll say, like, yeah, Small Rock this early on is not going to be that big of a deal. Um, again, that is only because we started with Speedball. So our movement speed is, is back to being bad. It was good. Now it's bad. But, again, getting the tears rate upgrade, getting the damage rate upgrade... Uh, or the DPS upgrade is is very very good early on, so very strong start here, especially with the double hero font or the uh, the double soul heart payout that we're gonna get from the hero font card. Yeah, we're looking we're looking real solid. I would have loved to have gotten uh, mom's key, but what can you do? So I'm going to hold off of the Hierophant card for now until we absolutely need to uh, use it. Go, those are double bombs. Very funny game. Got ourselves a key as well. Going off to last week's question of the episode, who is the toughest slash most difficult boss in all of Isaac? And, of course, that one coming from the Hell Run, which is where I went straight to Mother uh, without, having any, without having any victory lap. It was just the Eden Run to Mother. 
Um, and that run in particular was pretty challenging, I would say, but I'll get a double sword payout from that. We also got ourselves a swarm. Uh, the most upvoted comment came in from a Weasel of America 3113, who simply said, pin with a steel chair. I don't know how many people who have downloaded the, the pin with a steel chair mod, but it is quite funny. Um, he he can literally one shot you. <laughs> so yeah, now if that, of course, that's also just a reference to the meme that I started many years ago. But uh, yeah, you know, it, as far as like pin pin is concerned, obviously pin is not like that difficult. But some people do, some people may have problems with him. I do have problems with black pin every now and then. Uh, just because of how fast he is, and also he just comes out of what's seemingly nowhere, and uh, it can knock you down a couple a couple of rungs there. Um, but yeah, that's you know, pin with a steel chair. Uh, maybe maybe we'll do a spotlight on. Maybe we'll for the for the next light street goal, we'll do nothing but like some victim mods on one one on one run. That should be, I don't know, that might be entertaining. Wow, we're just getting hooked up with soul hearts here. Second most lovely comment came in from uh, Ring Ding two zero seven, who simply said, probably not the most popular choice, but Bambino always gets me. The charges, the swings that are way bigger than they should be, and the falling stones. Oh God, the falling stones! Yeah, Bumbino is one of those care. It's one of those bosses that you have to do plenty of times in order for you to like feel okay at fighting him without taking damage. Um, and there's even then, there's still some times like with the way that he kind of bobs and weaves through the hits that uh, you know he can be a little deceptive when it comes to where his hitbox is. So I definitely feel you on that one. We get death list here as well as nine lies. We're going to take both of these faux shizzle. Uh, and then last but not least, we had the third most upvoted comment came in from Lil Joker 6206, who simply said, honestly, yellow champion peep is definitely up there among my others, among others, but he has to take my number one spot. But yeah. That's someone who like is again, you're talking about deceptively difficult to deal with. If you're not ready for it, or if you don't have the movement speed, yellow pin is a real pain. Like I feel you on that one, like for sure. The, the fact that he <coughs> the fact that he can slide all around while attacking you with his multi-directional shots and then on top of that um, you know his his creep spread out is like a lot a lot further and like wider uh, than other peeps out there he can be quite the nuisance for sure so yeah that's uh you know I think that everyone when you play Isaac everyone just has their most hated bosses. And uh, mine, obviously, is I hate Red Champion Mega Maw. Uh, Red Champion Gate is also very annoying. But Red Champion Mega Maw is probably my number one go-to. I don't want to see this boss ever. I can almost never go through a, a fight with him without dying. Or not dying, sorry, without uh, getting hit. Um, <laughs> yeah, but if I ran into Red Champion Mega Maw and I just simply died every single time, <laughs> he, he, that would be like a world-class winning percentage right there, I tell you what. I don't think we're going to be able to do this. Yep. 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 Death list is kind of, uh, it's been kind of wavering for the last couple of, of times we've seen it in terms of the power rankings, I would say. The stock on death list is definitely falling. Let's put it that way. Get our bomb back here. Super secret room might actually be south of here. I'm not going to use my bomb to go check, though. Um, could get BFF. If we really, really wanted to. I'm going to. Probably not. I'm going to defer to the next premium item that we can get, which is probably going to be on floor five because obviously we're about to get greed, greed. Just, I don't know. I just, I see it coming. I, I feel like in the, in the caves, we're not going to see anything but greed fights here. Uh, yeah, we might as well take mysterious paper. Yeah, I hope everyone's having a fantastic Christmas Eve. What are you hoping the Santa get you? What did you what did you get for your your loved ones, your kids? What's your number one what's your number one most desired Christmas present this year? I'm I'm someone who's just I like I'm impossible to to buy for. I've talked about this plenty of times. That's a funny game. Oh, we got it. Never mind. Take it back. Thank you, game. I'm impossible to buy for just because like I always just get like if I if I want something like I'll just simply just go get it most of the time um I'm a, I'm a, I'm the kind of guy who's just like you know you know what just give me a gift card or or like just cash is fine like I know I know exactly what I want to buy if I can think of it but like that's the thing is like I I don't think of much whenever it comes to like what do I want you know, like I don't have many wants 
I'm very content with uh, with everything right now. I think that that it becomes easier when you simplify stuff to not want to desire a whole lot. Um, now, like, I'm still, like, I still, like, do... Oh, man, Swarm, you kind of screwed us there. We had this one in lockdown. I do, like, there's a couple things I want, want, you know, but they're, like, they're, like, luxury goods. Like, you know, I want, I want to get, like, a copy of, like, the, the old school PS4 uh, Godzilla game. You know, I never, I, I do have a PS4, not that I use it all that much. Um, but obviously I'm a huge Godzilla fan. So like, I want to, I want to get, I would like to get that. I think that'd be awesome to have just as a collector's item, but it's insanely expensive. Um, you know, of course I'd love, I'd love to, to get some, re some really neat coins. I do still, you know what game? I do still care about coins. I just kind of fell out of, I, I fell out, out of, out of love with them after a little bit. Um, I still enjoy them though. And I definitely, I got, I mean, he doesn't watch these videos, so I can, I can spoil it here, but I got Papa Victor some coins that he's going to really, really like. I got him some, uh, got him some, some American Eagles, like the silver coins for him. Cause he really likes those. Um, I also bought him a Bermudian like coin set, which is really neat from back home. Like it's like a proof set, and those of you who don't know coin what coins are, you're not gonna know what that is. But those of you who do, you know, like proof set, proof coins are like really cool. So, you get a key here. We do have a key now. Is this golden key behind? No, it's not. We could have just grabbed it. I don't know why I didn't. Let's go all the way back to the item room before we keep moving on here. Obviously, I've been buying lots, and I mean lots of Pokemon stuff for people. Like, I. I am totally fine with because like e almost everyone I know, like all my friends and stuff, unless they're like really grown, like all of them love Pokemon. If I, when I say we're really grown, I mean like if they have like you know I, if they're like married with kids and stuff like then it's like okay they love Pokemon but they love it for their kids. I'm gonna use the two clubs now. And uh, like you know like I I got hit up a few times from people who were like hey you know you have the Japanese set because obviously my special my speciality for Pokemon is is dealing Japanese sets, um, and I love the Japanese the Japanese cards and stuff so, and a lot of people are kind of like digging that like a lot of people are like yeah this is like great like these sets are awesome love the quality they grade well etc cetera, etc. Cetera. I don't know where our secret room is we know it's not there. We just tried up there. Like we just tried north of here. Yeah, that, that would do it. So I've had people ask me to, to see if I can sell them a box or two um, of, uh, of Japanese cards for their kids. And, uh, you know, I'm always I'm always obliged to do so. Making people happy is, uh, is it's a it's a really great feeling, you know, especially if it makes them happy because like their kids are happy. Then that like that's like just totally worth it. I have no idea where our secret room is at this point. Yeah, we have a golden key, so we might as well. So there's a cardio coin here. But even when I was a kid, like I, the only thing I really wanted when I was growing up was like video game stuff. You know, like a new, like a new Street Fighter would come out, or a new Final Fantasy, or you know, whatever. I know, imagine me in Street Fighter, right? I know, crazy, it's crazy to think about. I used to play Street Fighter all the time. To love Street Fighter, I used to love Mortal Kombat. I was into fighting games a lot. It was RPGs and then probably fighting games, to be honest. Um, I don't know where our secret room is at all. It's gonna bug me, but I also don't really want to lollygag too much more because I want to get boss rush. So. I don't know why I'm trying to do this. Yeah, this Chubb's just going to do that. Heavy Chubb is uh, quite the menace. Very fast. I mean, the, the charm shots, by the way, are coming from uh, Mom's eyeshadow, in case you're curious. And we do not get a double deal. We do get a movement speed up, so... Okay. I wasn't I wasn't a very a very wanting 
kid in Bermuda. I was, you know, I, I like, like, I honestly think that Ninja Turtles were probably like the thing I asked for the most back in the day. Ninja Turtles and video games was it. And, uh, you know, now as a, as a grown adult, like I can't think of anything I want. I'm happier, I'm happier buying stuff for other people. Like I'm happier for buying stuff for Mama Victa, for Papa Victa. Um, that was our first payout from Death's List, by the way. There's just something, there's something more satisfying whenever you're buying stuff for other people and you know that you're getting stuff that they want versus you just getting whatever you want. That's like, to me, that's not fun. Get back our soul heart very quickly there. Look at this, we're getting now we're getting just nothing but payouts from Death's List. We can't even we can't even not get any payouts right now. We're looking for our secret room. We know it can't be to the north of the boss trap room. <laughs> Death's List didn't even try. They were like, yeah, just just go ahead and just go through this room. We don't even care. Yeah, in a room like this where you're gonna have multiple ads spawning other things, don't even bother. Seriously, don't even bother. It's it, it is a waste of time. It's a futile effort. What? It's not in the mood, Globins. I would do that. If you didn't know what was going on there, the bombs were stuck on a, uh, they were stuck on like a gap over precision sniping here. Candy Heart, Candy Heart's kind of meh. There's nothing wrong with it, of course. It's just that like, it, it's not going to provide us any benefit right now, especially considering that we have mostly soul hearts for our HP. Finally get our secret room, and yep. We have more keys than bombs, so I don't mind using keys here to get into the store. We could, of course, bomb our way in there, but there's our resident greed fight, which we didn't have on the last floor, which I kind of predicted. Which really sucks now, because that means that we're probably going to get another one on the next floor. So Depths 2 is going to be our last usable shop. I don't, want to, I don't want to get any flies right now because obviously we're trying to out we're trying to control our outgoing DPS. Um, and that includes having the flies, the attack flies that uh, will go around and hit targets that I don't want them to. Speaking of champion peep, this is not yellow champion peep, obviously, but blue champion peep, which I don't know exactly what he does more. Oh, that's right, he starts with he starts with no eyes. That's right. Yeah, he's the only peep that that doesn't uh he's basically bloat. He's basically bloat but less difficult. Seventy three percent. Well we get our movement speed back, but uh all right, four or five devil deal, here we come. See, the game is in a giving mood for the spirit of things. After starting off red hot with a uh, small rock and nine lives and everything, <laughs> our cup, our cup runneth over here. Game. I don't know why I'm trying to do this. It's only a matter of time before the swarm was gonna do that. Hit me now. It is unlikely that we will get boss rush at this point. Um, we spent way too much time on that last floor. And gotta be careful of the jostling here.
Yeah, we get our soul heart back. The lover's card is interesting because we can use that for candy heart. Now, if you don't know what candy heart does, I haven't even talked about candy heart, but if you don't know what it does, essentially it will give you a permanent stat up every time you recover a red heart. So if we heal for one red heart, we will gain some kind of incremental stat upgrade. Oh my god. Dude, I don't know what's been going on since that greed run, but like it seems like the clown physics have just been on a just a totally different level lately. How did that, how did that not hit the other the other I'm I'm losing it, dude. I ain't, I ain't even drank any eggnog yet. This is, this is getting crazy. We'll take Pinking Shears. Pinking Shears is going to give us flying in the room that we're in and also, of course, deal massive amounts of damage to enemies. See, this is not conducive with a, run, a room that I feel like doing here. Okay, so most likely we'll end up using the five room, especially, especially if we end up getting another greed fight here. And we have gone around in one of the biggest Isaac circles we've seen in a while. A range upgrade. Don't even bother in this room. The dark. The trites, these guys here, they will spawn the dark matter balls, and that will count against your death list. Surprisingly, no, uh, no greed fight. Sun card. Okay, we can use that on the. We can use that on the re redo. I'm not even gonna bother with this room. You had your fun game. Got your Isaac Circle. You wasted our time. You made us. You made us not get boss rushed. We're very happy for you. Real happy for you. All right. So let's go see what we can get here out of this Devil Deal. Four or five Devil Deal. Now, how much you want to bet that they ain't gonna give us any Devil Deal? It's just gonna be a Krampus fight. And it's going to give us the head of Krampus. What you want to bet? Bet you a buffalo nickel. I'll take a buffalo nickel. Buffaloes are, are fun, fun coin to, get, to collect here. I should have taken the bet. We got Incubus and Guppy's Eye, which is going to be our second Guppy item. And now, I guess what we get to do? We get to go all the way to the back... All the way to the back. All the way to the back. All the way to the back. To the five room. Hey, at least we have mapping on the next floor. We have a sun card. So, unless, of course, we get Curse of Loss, which, nah, that won't happen, right? All right. No, but we did get Curse of the Maze. Okay, so there's a sack room here. Current card, devil card, devil card, devil card. Okay, we just got taken for a total ride there. Not a not a great shop, gonna be honest. Double the firepower here. I don't think that counted. Uh, sometimes they like to be real sneaky and put a tenant rock in this room. I know it may seem impossible, but there are occasions where they'll they'll sneak a really cheeky tenant rock behind another rock and make it very difficult to check it out. It looks like one, but it's not. I know it's not. Take the peep. The 
quarter. Oh, I don't know why the game is hitching right there. That's what is going on with the frame rate here. OBS, are you screwing something up? Seems like in that room with that turret in particular, we see like a little bit of a hitching going on. A hitching, I'm talking about the talking about the frame rate itself. So we get a golden bomb here, which is great because we actually need bombs. Bomb our way into the curse room. The hangman. I mean, I am kind of tempted to go down to Red Heart HP again. Just so we can get some just some stats up off of uh, Candy Heart. Yeah, let's, let's use the sack room to get into Red Heart HP once again. We are going to lose a life, of course, and that's fine. We've got nine of them. And when we're ready to leave the floor, we'll just simply go get that HP upgrade, and then that'll be it. But, yeah, I mean, you knew that... You knew the game wasn't going to give us... Ooh, you knew the game was not going to give us a Devil DOF, especially so soon after getting one on 4 or 5. That's, that's lunacy right there. So, what this is going to allow us to do is to, again... This will allow us to get down to Red Heart HP, which allows us to get value out of the Candy Heart acquisition, which allows us to get ourselves some good old-fashioned stats. So I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to leave the Soul Heart there. Of course, the maze is just shuffling everything. If you're wondering why, if you're going, hang on now, buddy. Hang on a second. How come your map is moving? What kind of hacked client you got going on there? Yeah, it's, uh, it's Curse of the Maze, Cletus. It, it happens all the time. You'd be surprised how many people don't realize and don't know that the... Uh, that curse the maze will shuffle all of your rooms around. Okay, so we have two soul hearts ready to go for us when we are finally done with uh, tapping the sack room. And we might as well go over and check out uh, check out the boss or mob trap room, not boss trap room. And for Penny's kind of a nothing burger of an item at this point. We don't need money. We're gonna take it unless we find something better. But like, yeah, we don't really we don't really care about the kind of for Penny here. It's just a bunch of bombs, honestly. And it's not even worth our time. All right. All I want for Christmas is just a a banger. Banger payout here. A wild card. Okay, so we cannot... We cannot take... I don't remember what the last thing we did with the... Pre-wild pre card was. We cannot go... We cannot tap this until after we take a soul heart. Because if we get teleported... Um, and then die, we don't get to go back into the angel room without killing ourselves again. And I don't want to do that. So I'm going to cash in one of these soul hearts here. Oh, we would have died there. And we get Seraphim. Okay. Seraphim's a bro, especially combined with Incubus. With the Urn of Souls. No, thank you. There we go. We got our soul hearts here. Very good. Very, very good. Did we... Yeah, we, we definitely used... Yeah, we used the, the pinging shears long, long, long after we used that sun card. So, we'll hold on to the wild card for now. And the wild card is just going to double... Uh, it's just going to do the last thing that you did. 
Um, which I think may have been actually the cricket smelter. But if we can hold on to it, we get something like Diplopy on the next floor, or we get... We get something like... I don't know. Maybe... Maybe an R key. Mm, that'd be fun. We can get two R keys out of it. No curse here. Obviously, we were on extended time because we went to the we, we did use that that uh, five room previously so I will say death list you're uh you're kind of ruining my buzz a little bit here we haven't gotten haven't gotten a single damage upgrade that I can discern from you yeah I appreciate you know the 18 range and everything and the luck upgrade but, but you we, we need something a little bit a little bit, little bit meatier a little bit tastier If you if you want to still convince people you're still a big time player, then you got to make some big time plays. There you go. So that's what I'm talking about. You know, sometimes you just gotta you gotta be the best coach you can. You just gotta tell them, just tell your players, just hey, this is how it is. Players respect a coach that tells it like it is. They don't sugarcoat everything. You gotta step up. It's next man up. You know, if you're not the if you're not the item to get to get the get the job done, we're gonna we're gonna find one that will. Keeper sack. Unfortunately, it's a uh, four floors too late. Damage upgrade, get movement speed upgrade, judgment card. Now, if this is a demon judgment, which it's not. If it was a demon judgment, we'd actually be able to get some more stats out of the candy heart. As it stands right now, we haven't really gotten anything out of candy heart, which kind of sucks. Black bean, black bean's okay. Does a little, does a little gas cloud every time Isaac gets uh, gets damaged. Open for Guppy. Not that we really need Guppy, of course. I mean, we. We always need Guppy. I mean, having flying would be great. Really send this run over the edge here in terms of winnability. I mean, we're not... Of course, we're not in any danger of losing on this run. Not right now, anyway. I mean, who knows, but... Right now, we're we're definitely good. Getting flush with soul hearts. Definitely would have been nice to have gotten Keeper Sack earlier, though, I will admit. Soul of Isaac, which will give us a reroll... Reroll pedestal that is, so. Hmm. I don't think we need Eden's Blessing. We're already capped on tiers. Yeah, I'll take it, Bacac. Oh my god, what is this tier height, dude? I suddenly am filled with regret. This tier height is actually ridiculous. Um, okay. So, yeah, Ipecac. Not always the slam dunk you think it's going to be. Good lord. That is going, I mean, that is going over the head of everybody. Get red mom. Yeah, so Ipecac, with this amount of tier height, makes, it makes... Beast impossible. Don't even try Beast if you have Ibakak like this. I mean, we're talking about your sky shots. Maybe there's, there's, there's to the moon and then there's this. Yeah, we are flying. The only solace that I can take is that I know that we can simply just walk out of a room if we're not really feeling that went right over the head. Yeah, this is this is absurd. Also, Incubus also gets the, the shared benefit of this insane tier height, so 
Now, as far as why does tier height exist in the game, don't ask me. I don't know. You would think that for a game like this, you don't need... I mean, it's not even an official stat, really, that you can see. It is an official stat, of course, but it's not one that's, like, tangible on the left side of the screen. And it's somewhat loosely related to your range upgrades, I think. But, yeah. This is... This is... Some wackiness. Of course, we're probably not going to be able to gain, gain any benefit out of uh, Keeper... Or not Keeper Sack, but... Uh, Death List anymore. Okay. It'd be great if we could, for sure, but, like, this is, this is bonkers right here. Much money. So if you're wondering how I'm aiming these shots right now, you basically just have to imagine a line that Isaac, imagine him having tech two. Imagine Isaac having tech two, and that is where your damage is going to be allocated to in the game. Like, we're still doing incredible damage. Like, don't get me wrong. Our damage is just is just nutty. But this, <laughs> this tier height, it makes it look like we have Hemolacria when we don't. So no guppy here, as uh, he expected. I mean, it, it's... At this point, like you get more surprise whenever you receive Guppy than you do, than you do when you don't, right? You should just kind of keep your expectations about as low as you can whenever you get an early Guppy item, especially something like Nine Lives. Yeah, we'll get about it. You're not gonna you're not gonna see Guppy anytime soon. Oh my God. Well, thank goodness we have Seraphim here to help us out with the close range because I think we got long range covered. Possible get Guppy out of here. Didn't, but it was possible. That's the point. It was possible. Some high arcing, high arcing damage here on Christmas Eve. I like Christmas for me is like never been my favorite holiday. My favorite holiday is always and forever will be Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving, but around Christmas time, you know, if it's nice and cold outside. You know, you got a fire going, and you got someone to either spend it with, or like you're just with, you know, family or loved ones. It's yeah, it's a it's a different feeling than you see for the rest of the year. Like it's it's kind of one of those like you know, it's Christmas. It feels like Christmas. That's what I like about Christmas. Where do where the hell do we go? This is, the, this is absurd levels of Sinvicta full clears right here. It hasn't even been cold, that's the thing. Like, that's that's the real kicker about this year is that we had a really, really hot summer. And I don't mean, like, in a, in, a, in a fun way. I mean, it was, like, hot. It was, like, hot, like, temperature hot. And uh, so everyone kind of predicted, like, oh, we had a really hot summer. Well, we're going to have a really cold winter. And I was like, yes. I don't want, like, 2021 or 2020 levels of, of cold. Like, you can miss me with that freeze stuff. But give me, like, cold. Give me some cold weather. I mean, it was friggin' 72 today. This ain't, this ain't Christmas. I can't feel all Christmassy and happy and cheery when it's like, yeah, I can go outside and Bermuda shorts and flip-flops. Thank you for the, thank you for the Krampus-esque Devil Deals game. Really, really putting a, a nice spin on the Christmas spirit. Yeah, that, that's what this, that's what this run is. This run is like having, this, this run is like having 80 degree weather on Christmas. That's exactly what this run is. You know, you got, you, you're in the spirit of things. You want to go, oh, yeah, it's going to be nice and festive here. We're going to have lots of presents. Just have a good old classic time. Then, and then. Then Krampus Kringle over here is like, ah, you can go, you can go ahead and have your two guppy items. Enjoy, you filthy animal. That's what that's what this run is. That's what that's what Christmas 2023, the Christmas Eve run anyway, will be remembered for. Maybe that's the problem is that it's not Christmas Day yet. It comes tomorrow. Hmm. <coughs> 
<laughs> ourselves a tears upgrade. All right, go on that. I have stopped caring about taking damage from skipping annoying rooms. Oh, we hit that door. Okay. Talk about death from above, man. It's like death from like outer space. It's like it's like Isaac firing stuff with an orbital predator missiles every every single time. And I'm not talking about Dr. Fetus either. I mean, he's, I mean, Isaac's got cracked and skizzle, but we got, we got epic, epic kizzle. I mean, it's going, it's so high, it's, it's actually hitting the ceiling when we're at the top of the screen. Thank you for the, thank you for that. I have no idea what we're going to use it for this wild card, by the way. I was secretly kind. No, we do not want. I mean, I'll I'll take milk and that's it. Okay. Uh, we do not want rubber cement. I mean, if anything, this is definitely giving me some practice with my Ipecac shots. I literally cannot tell where this where these tears are going. Take spider bite here. say that the the dead ends have been on may, maybe this is our this might be like our our ghost of, of Christmas past run we're kind of we're, we're kind of getting the the the, the 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 scary run out of the way I mean it's not too scary it's the weird you know all in preparation for tomorrow get us so hard here from Limehorn as we continue to Explore this vast, wondrous chest. My nickname in high school, by the way. I do love that Incubus is also doing the exact same shot that we are, just slightly behind. So if there was ever, if there was ever like one volley that we were missing, Incubus has got us covered. Oh, this would be fun. Hey, look, we can do that, too, except we can fire way, way further away. Also, I have no idea what hit me there. You find the Super Sega room here. What a, what a wacky, wacky run. So thank you for watching, everybody. Again, Merry Christmas Eve. I hope you all have a fantastic Christmas holiday. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back here tomorrow, as always. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button. Leave a comment down below. Question of the episode is going to be, what did you wish for this Christmas or what are you buying for somebody this Christmas? Post them in the comments. We'd love to see in the top three most upvoted comments get read right on next week's episode. Like I said, happy holidays and Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope you have a good one. As always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. Like thanks to pages of mine like Sampudu, Nathan Trumbo, and Bryson Wills. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at Patreon. Dot com slash Invicta.